My next guest, who's sitting to my right, nominated for a Grammy twice over, an Emmy, and now her new show, Under a Rock with Tig Notaro, that's streaming right now on Funny or Die. The latest guest was me. We figured, let's have Tig Notaro on my show. The only difference is I know who you are as you sat down in the seat, Tig. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. So the construct Good of... to see you and know who you are. Exactly. And yeah. you do know who I am, right? I do know. Right now. Yes. Okay, because the concept of Under a Rock with Tig Notaro is that um, to say you have a blind spot for pop culture and facial recognition is an affront to the word blind and spot, correct? Well, I don't have facial recognition issues. You don't? No. Okay. I mean, even though you did tell me I met you one time before. Yes, we had Jeff Garland on the show last week. Uh -huh. You did a stand-up special with Jeff yeah. at the Largo here in Los Angeles. I don't know that it was a special. It's probably just a show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. I felt it was special. Yeah. Um, and uh, and then I met you afterwards. It was probably backstage. brief, right? It was, yeah, it was brief. Yeah, but I remembered it. Yeah, and that's okay that you didn't. But you don't recall people. You don't know. You're not very I just well versed in pop culture. A lot of pop culture. I follow uh, music. I follow documentaries. Okay. and the news. Right. But um, yeah, TV and film. I catch things here and there, and of course. I work in entertainment. I'm a stand-up comedian. Right. I do some acting. But it's typically if I've worked with somebody on mm -hmm. a project or I met them socially. But, yeah, I miss a lot. It's shocking. So then the concept that I imagine was pitched to you is no, like. No, I pitched it. You did? Yeah, I came up with it. Which is like, hey, I just don't know a whole bunch of people. By and I, yeah, I thought it'd be funny to do a talk show where I am face-to-face -face with celebrities and try and figure out who they are. And, uh, like, say, Anne Hathaway. I mean, you did not know who Anne Hathaway was at all? Um, I know the name, and I had met her, but um, when I ran into her again, uh, I, I didn't recognize her. <laughs> um, and I, She looked vaguely familiar. Okay. And I thought I had just maybe hung out with her at a Star Trek rap party. <laughs> um, because right. I, I am on Star Trek, and I had just left the rap party, huh. and she said, no. I'm Anne Hathaway. I met you at the Beck concert. And then when I told my wife, when I <laughs> went home from Toronto, she said, how is it that um, she's trying to jog your memory of her mm -hmm. from a Beck concert right. and not saying, no, it's me, Anne Hathaway, from Anne Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't jog your memory at all. Well, I mean, she just mentioned the Beck concert, and I, and I, and I, uh, no, I didn't, oh. I didn't remember her from the Beck concert. Other guests, Lena Headey. Does that mean you didn't watch Game of Thrones at I all? I did not watch Game of Thrones. No. So when these folks come out and sit down, by the way, the way you introduce guests, fantastic. Walk, can you walk people through how you introduce your guests on your show? Cause yeah. Folks might be wondering, and Tig Notaro here, Under a Rock with Tig Notaro, a fantastic, very popular show streaming on Funny or Die, how you can be a host of a talk show with the guest, you having no idea who they are, and they're presented to you. How can you possibly go through that as a, a construct, as a host? You, how do you introduce folks, for those who may not know? How do I bring them out on yeah, stage? Yeah, I yeah. say, please welcome this person. <laughs> And Chris, I'm telling you, man, it's really weird as a guest I mean, because it, it as a guest, they tell you, OK, don't you're not allowed to come out until Tig's ready. OK. All right. Which is makes sense. You turn around. Yeah. So I don't see anyone. Right. And then you sneak onto the set behind a curtain and then they open the curtain up when you say the words this person. Please welcome this person. It's, it's the big time, Rich. <laughs> Man, it is so damn funny. It really, really is. Um, you were so fun. You were so fun. I truly was just like, who is this person? What does he do? I mean, I started to kind of feel like maybe you were a talk show host. Is that right? Well, because you kept saying that you control conversations yes. and your voice yes. and your inflection. Right. There's certain things after hosting this show that I've started to kind of... You know, you're getting in a rhythm, is what you're a saying. A little bit. I mean, not always. Okay. Not always. Right. Uh, but. But you know, it's funny. As you came out of our green room, you know, our 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 hallway is lined with photographs of guests who have been here. And yeah. We put you know famous faces up on the wall. You did seem to recognize a handful of them. Yeah. That, right? I mean, it's not that if someone's famous, I absolutely won't know who they are. Right. There's just a, 
a large chunk of people that astound everyone <laughs> that I don't I, I don't know. Well, it's funny. What we could do is have you walk through the hallway, uh -huh. and there could be future guests for your show when you pull a rock and not know who they are. Yeah. Like, they can be going on, but like say when Michael Douglas is on the wall and you stopped, you go. Douglas, right? I'm like, yeah, so yeah. he's out. I couldn't remember his first name, but I knew it was Douglas. <laughs> I knew there was a Douglas in there. You were halfway home. I knew Jane Lynch. Yes, you did. Yeah. Very good. So and then I saw out. the Melissa Etheridge clip, and That's I was right. like, what is this, a gay show? <laughs> I thought she it's was on a, before me, and no. I was like, whoa. She was on last week because she oh, okay. loves the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh -huh. Are you a sports fan whatsoever at all? I mean, I grew up playing soccer. Okay. Um, In Mississippi, I, right? Is that where you're from? I was Mississippi and Texas. Okay. Uh, my brother has, uh, he's been a, a sports radio host for decades. Okay, because you told me after we shot the show that your brother would be freaking out that you had no idea. Yeah, he, he just... He, and that I was on. Right, uh -huh. yeah, and uh, still can't. <laughs> it's his whole world. It's his whole world. But I don't, And my wife follows yeah. football, um, some basketball, but it's she and her father and her brother yeah. and our two three-year-old boys watch. Okay. And, um, but my wife doesn't look like she would follow football. Okay. Everyone assumes I'm the one with the short hair that would follow the football. But not at and all. I don't. Well, no. but just by saying follow the football, follow I the think football. That, that, that is, <laughs> that, that belies a certain knowledge. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So here's what we're going to do, Tig, because uh, I, I had such a blast on your show. Um, and now that you're on, on mine, I would like to uh, have a little bit of a similar construct. Okay. Because I know who you are, um, and now you know who I am. And maybe we could also send you out into the universe with a little bit more sports knowledge in a way. Thank you. I would I, love we, that. We have come up with a handful of sports terminology, and you could give your best guess what you think it means. Um, and then we'll reveal it to you, and you can use this words in lexicon if you're ever in needing any of stuff like that. Is it going to be stuff like goalpost or cleats? No, they're not like that. Okay. It's actual like sports terminology okay. All right. that you may or may not have heard of. Do we have music for this, Mike Del Tifo? Yeah, give, me some, we give me some music right here. Uh, Under a Rock with Tig Notaro on, uh, on Funny or Die. You can stream it right now. Oh, that's NFL Films music you're giving right there. Very good. Some of these aren't all football, though. And if you want, it could be like the spelling okay. bee. You could ask me, like, what's the sport or okay. use it in the term of a form of a sentence, however you wish. Okay. okay. Here we go. Special teams. What do you think that means, special teams? Um, <laughs> um, people that are teams that are going to championship okay that's an interesting way it's a the for the uh, what would you describe you don't even know uh, see, special I mean, teams is a phase it's a phase of a, a, a certain personnel of a football yes yeah they're, they're only um they, here i am trying I know, to explain right? what tough. special teams well, there's is. offense and defense and then all the other stuff is special teams yeah the, those who kick and those punt in football are the special teams so if you're ever there and you watch somebody kick a field goal you just certain people and you go, they got some good special teams. Okay. Special teams. There you go. Very good. A pick six. Pick six. Yeah. You ever heard that one before? Rich, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> pick six. Yeah. What do you think that might mean? Um, it's from football. It's from football. Pick six. Six yards. I like it. When somebody intercepts a football and returns it for a touchdown, they get six points. So somebody gets a pick six. Hmm. How about that? Yeah. Still draws a blank. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know the words. I've heard these words Oh, you before, have heard them. Okay. Just not in the order that okay. you're presenting them. All right. Here's another one. Load management. Load management. Mm -hmm. Is it when they tackle each other and there's too much of a load? Basketball. It's a basketball term. My answer remains. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would love to get your comedic take on this. Load management is the term that the NBA is currently using for resting players. The players have no injury. You know what? I have heard that because um, somebody was talking about recently how if you buy expensive tickets to a game and you're wanting to see the stars yes, uh, of the, the team. Yes, yes. Then they feel like it's unfair. Yes, 
especially because the player is out. Why was somebody telling me that? Because <laughs> it is it is a significant subject. Anyone that knows me well wouldn't be like, oh, let me run this by Tig. <laughs> let me see what she thinks of load management. See, now this is the thing as well, is that load management is the official term they're calling it. When a player is rested without injury, it's load management. Maybe I heard it on a radio show. I think I did. I, I just I love the term. It just yeah. sounds so official for something that is means it a new? It's a new term. Ish, right? But about two Ish, years. Yeah, the last couple seasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're coming up on the two-year anniversary <laughs> <laughs> of load management. It's going to be a special load management roast with Jeffrey Ross for load management. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple more for you. Hat trick. Hat trick. Have you heard hat trick before? Rich, of course not. No, oh, no. Um, hat trick would be. Baseball? No. It is all, well, I mean, it could yeah, well, be. I mean, it, a know. hat trick is what uh, you are, you when you score three times, if you have three goals or mm. three of anything, soccer and hockey, usually it's called a hat trick. Why, I, why it's called a hat trick, I have no idea. I thought idea. it was baseball players taking their hat off and flipping it and then having it land on their head. I Which I guess been, is very I literal. Think we should start doing that. Actually, we should start calling that. I've hat. just been told that they used to pass around a hat for players because they didn't get paid when they have such an accomplishment. It's called a hat trick. Wow. So if you had three great shows in a row, hat trick. Done. Last one for you right here. Icing the kicker. Icing the kicker. What do you think kicker. that means? Is it in football? Yes. And mm. is it when. They run towards the kicker. Oh, so close. So close. Because they do that when the punter They do. Punts, that's and then rushing they run. The, that's running, rushing the kicker. Yeah, I've seen that happen. Icing the kicker. They ignore him? Uh, ish. Why would you ignore him? No, I mean. Well, because they're kickers. Stop it. Don't, don't feed her head with Sorry. awful things like that. No, icing the kicker is when there's a big kick in the game. Is it celebratory? It is not. The kicker is making a Rich, big kick. what is it? The opposing team calls a timeout to make him think about it longer. And it's kind of putting him on ice. You're icing the kicker. Oh, okay. All right. See what I'm saying? You, uh, icing the kicker could also be putting um, your final drink on the rocks. I like it. It's the kicker of the, of the I, end of the night. You know what? You're going to ice the kicker. I think it's very good. But now I think you can go and talk about, well, they normally have a very good special teams, mm -hmm. but they're trying to ice the kicker, and that might be a problem. Rich, right? I hate to take the conversation away from sports, mm -hmm. but um, why, when I got here today, was there not a casserole for me? <laughs> <laughs> why? A big CD? Yeah. Now, let's Seriously, get into this. It would have been an amazing... Before Full circle go. moment. If you presented me with, now, sure, you're, you're again in 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 our conversation on uh, my that show. People can people can check it out again on Funny or Die. You asked me one of the questions, and I don't know why this would be somehow and all revealing or enlightening I. towards the ultimate goal of uh, revealing Nor my identity. Nor do I, but I do have a team of writers, and they asked, that are inexperienced. And the question you asked me was, Have you ever been to a potluck? What would you bring to a potluck is oh. what you said. And I said, I've never been to a potluck, which absolutely floored you. I'm sure I'm always, I wasn't the only one floored. And, and, and I eventually thought, because Mike Del Tufo, we had just done this on our show, is baked ziti. That guy makes the greatest baked ziti on the planet Earth. I don't know if you could see him around the corner right there, Mike Del Tufo from New Jersey. <laughs> He nails the, he sticks Your to the big CD Your stage is landing. too big. I can't even see. <laughs> He's right around the so corner. so far away. He's right over there. <laughs> Wave, Mike. I should have had a casserole for you. <sighs> would have been beautiful. Next time. It would have yeah. been a, it would have been like nice bookend moments. Oh, yeah. Between Under a Rock with Tig Notaro and the then Rich I'm ready Eisen for show. lunch. Perfect timing. Hey, um... Your live shows are coming up as well. Uh, well, I have a talk show mm -hmm. at Largo right. in Los Angeles every month where I do interview celebrities that I know. And it's called But Enough About You. <laughs> and on December 1st, I have Dakota Johnson Fantastic. from Fifty Shades of Grey yes. and other hit right. movies. Do you know um, who her father is? Don Johnson. You do know. 
Okay. And Melanie Griffith is her mother. Look at you, you're on well, a roll. Well, she, her boyfriend, Chris Martin from Coldplay, yes. hired me to surprise Dakota for her 30th birthday. So that's how I know them. And so she's coming on my talk show as a guest live at Largo, December 1st. Come on down, Rich. Will Chris Martin be there too? Of you never course. Know. Come on, Tig. I mean, for somebody who supposedly is under a rock, you know a whole bunch of people. I know Dakota. I just didn't know Rich Eisen. I okay. apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also have Zach Galifianakis come in and uh, Sarah Paulson, who is a fantastic she actress. She's so phenomenal. She is so very phenomenal. Yeah. And that's Largo. Um, that's, I think Zach's already sold out. So come see Dakota or okay. Sarah. Okay. And go to TigNation.com for tickets or follow Tig Nataro on Twitter at Tig Nataro or at the real fluff Nataro on Instagram. Yeah, or just tignotaro.com. There you go. Tig okay, very yeah. good. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Great on. to see you, Rich. Let's do this again. So I'll, I can't come back on your show. You can come back you can on come mine. You can come to my I, Largo show. Uh, see, okay. To, but enough about you. But enough about you. Yeah, you've, gradu <laughs> but, you've graduated. You've <laughs> graduated. From under a rock <laughs> to <laughs> but enough and, about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, at Tig Nataro on Twitter. Under a rock with Tig Nataro. Uh, you can check out the uh, latest episode with me uh, as the guest streaming now on Front of Your Die. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Rich. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, by the Happy way. Happy Thanksgiving you to you. You got it. We're back Baked with more. Baked ziti. That's right. Baked ziti and turkey. No turkey. When we come back. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.